Hi girls, so um, when it comes to polymers, people can sometimes get stuck, and you shouldn't, because ain't nothing but a thing, right? It's not a, not a big deal. So the only kinds of exam questions you kind of get that are strictly polymer questions is when they give you the monomer and ask you to draw the polymer, or vice versa. There are more questions that come from that. Um, it may be linked in with a question about um, alkenes, because in level two, you look at just alkene addition reactions that make um, polymers. So they may have other alkene questions, other reactions, maybe about cis or trans isomers, um, or maybe have a Makovnikov's rule thing chucked in. So in any case, the stuff that's gonna be just about polymers is gonna be quite short, and it's usually an achieved question. So here's the exam question from 2018. It was actually question 1C, Right, so it's only one part of the question and it was only worth one achieved point. <laughs> so don't spend tons of time, don't spend your whole life um, practicing about polymers, but if you can do it, yay, got an easy achieved point in the bag. So here's the question. It said, here's Perspex, it's a polymer and it's like a, like a you know, alternative to glass, it's really strong. Here is the monomer for what Perspex is. It asks you to draw three repeating units. That is typically how many they will ask you to draw. So here's the alkene. Um, you'll notice that when you draw alkenes, you kind of draw them in what I call like the X configuration, where they kind of go um, with their side groups out at angles. When I draw them as polymers, I like to draw them with these guys sticking straight up and down in what I would call an H configuration because then um, you have more space to show how that will become a single bond and you'll get many, many, many carbon-carbon bonds along the backbone of the polymer. So all I'm going to do is draw three repeating units. This part here is what's going to be in the backbone. So I'm going to draw that three times, just with single bonds. So I end up drawing six carbons. It goes on forever and ever and ever. So quite often you'll see um, brackets with, a, with an N to say that this does repeat. And then I'm gonna draw that kind of H configuration I was talking about, where the other groups attached to this double bond are sticking up and down. So this part here, these two carbons here are these two carbons there. So this first carbon needs to have two hydrogens. It doesn't matter what way they go. So obviously it's not going to make a difference. And then that second carbon needs a CH3 group on it and a COO CH3 group on it. doesn't matter what this is because this, this could be anything. Um, you don't need to worry about it. You just need to copy it down. Uh, I'm going to draw the CH3 facing up because that's the way it's been given to me. And it helps make it easier for the examiner as well. Uh, COO, oh, CH3, down there, squeeze it in. And then you're just gonna keep going because this would be the second unit of the polymer. So again, we'd go back, back to number carbon number one, HH. So you find that every second um, carbon could have these hydrogens on it. And every second carbon could have that CH3 C-O-O-C-H-3 group coming off it. Just like that. And that gives you an achieve point. Well done. Uh, the next way around you could do it is the opposite. And that is what they got in 2017. I've got it. <laughs> something I've prepared earlier. <laughs> Here is the polymer. Uh, this was question... Oh, I don't know what question it was. It was a, it was a question A, um, and then there was part one, part two, part three. So again, this was just like a question A, I. Um, don't know if it was question one, two, or three. But it was only one small part of the question. So they want you to draw the monomer from which you would make PVC. You just have to look for where is this repeating. So we have C, H, H, C, CLH, right? That has come up again. You can see every second carbon has got that CL. All along the bottom here are H's, so it's not going to help you. So you're looking up the top here. Every second carbon is alternating between hydrogens and chlorines. So 
you know, if you're taking those first two carbons there, that would give you an alkene if you put a double bond there, and then these would be the four groups that came off that double bond. And you can always work backwards, right? If you're not very good at doing it one way, you just do it and you test yourself to see if it would work both ways. So here's my alkene drawn in the X configuration. Um, that is the piece here, less fine double bond. And you can see that that repeats there and that repeats there. So again, a nice, easy, achieved question. Hope that helps.